Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be describing uh, how master cylinders and uh, power boosters work. Now uh, basically the main point of them is to uh, transfer mechanical energy into uh, hydraulic energy. So that mechanical energy that you're putting here on your uh, brake pedal is transferring it into uh, hydraulic energy that then sends that throughout your brake lines. So basically you got a few parts here in, uh, in these uh, vacuum assisted ones. You have your uh, power booster which is, this is right here, that's your uh, assistant source, that's what helps you pump uh, the brakes. And here you got your master cylinder. And in your master cylinder you have uh, two uh, pistons because uh, we have dual split systems so that your brakes don't just work all of them on the same pressure because if you get a leak you could uh, lose all your brakes and that could be dangerous. So we have a split system. This first one here is called your primary piston. This second one is uh, your secondary piston. And you have springs in between here. And so basically what's going on when you're uh, pressing on the brake pedals is first you get a power assistant from your uh, power booster. And basically you have it split into two systems and you have two vacuums on both sides. When uh, your foot is off the brake, the pressure on both sides or the vacuum is uh, equal so it just stays there. And then when you open it, you have this one-way check valve. When you press on the brake pedal, this one-way check valve starts opening and allows vacuum to come this way, allows the air to come this way. So that this side right here, this vacuum is actually stronger. And so it starts kind of winning that war and starts pushing the diaphragm this way. And that's what helps you with the power assistant. And that comes from your engine vacuum, which is usually connected to uh, your uh, intake manifold. Diesels, they don't have uh, engine vacuum, so they usually have their own vacuum pump, but it still essentially works the same. Uh, so then that energy gets transferred into uh, these here, into these uh, pistons. That rod will push on these pistons, and basically these pistons will move, and they have little seals on here, so that it seals off the hydraulic pressure. So say this uh, secondary piston here, you'll seal off this system and all this fluid will go this way through your brake lines. Because if you didn't have these seals, that uh, fluid will just, you won't be pushing it, it'll just fight its way back. So these seals that help these pistons uh, push all that hydraulic fluid into one direction. And that's uh, basically how it works. You have your, uh, your little fluid reservoir up here where you put the brake fluid. And like I said, when these move, they fight against the spring and uh, seals off the pressure and pushes the pressure down to each brake line. And then when you uh, let go of it, these springs push it back. And, uh, and basically the overall theory of how this all works is it's basically transferring mechanical energy from there into hydraulic energy and then makes its way to your uh, calipers or your wheel cylinders at your drum brakes. That's basically how they work. Thanks for watching.